let's talk tires so just because your tires are new from the manufacturer doesn't necessarily mean they're actually good tires so even though these are load range e they're from a company called high spec um, these tires have a higher probability of blowing um, you're going to have a higher probability of a blowout going down the road on some of our long journeys and since we are heading west this year we don't want to chance it so even though our camper is a few months old we're going to go ahead and replace these with new ones so you guys get to come along with us um, on packing up a camper we're getting ready to hit the road today it's going to be fun and just before you leave one of the fun things you get to do, well, some people don't think it's fun, but I think it's awesome, is you get to drain the black tank. Some people doesn't think draining the black tank is cool, but I don't know, it's one of those things. I just, while the black tank's draining, I also like to start packing up the Starlink. Oh. I'll have to do a review at some point on how well our Starlink works, but a uh, spoiler alert, we love it. So it's good. And there we go. Got my net box set up. Black tank's done initially draining. I always take the time to flush the black tank now ours has an integrated most of your newer ones do now an integrated flush so it's as simple as putting on the water hose turning on the water typically flush it for about 30 minutes just to make sure that line's good and clear helps you uh, with black tank issues down the road Clear water. You want to flush that black tank till you get clear water. Sometimes about 30 minutes. Then you close the valve. For this particular water pressure at this place, I know that about 15 seconds is that sweet spot, that special number for me to cut the water off because right now I'm filling my black tank. You always want to have your black tank about a third to the level full when you're driving and traveling you put that cleaner in there that way water can kind of slosh around and make sure you don't have any pile up of anything in your black tank so all good things beautiful day we had a great night's rest we stopped in and stayed uh, near some family tonight and uh, now we're heading to the tire shop this morning to get some tires put on our rig beautiful spring day dropped it off it was a hard decision because we uh it our camper had new tires on it 
but we wanted to go ahead and replace them because we've heard a lot of horror stories of uh manufacturer tires that come with campers kind of being prone to blowing over larger distances so we're going ahead and playing it safe we'll be back soon Okay, so we uh, just got the camper back. Um, we have the new tires set on it. Uh, we went with a Goodyear tire um, called an Endurance. Uh, these are 10 ply tires. The um, guys at the tire shop actually showed me on the tires that came on our camper. The sidewall, you could literally just push right in. It was paper thin very high probability of a blowout which sort of confirmed um, our fears and why we wanted to go ahead and update it so glad we got that done again this is a good 10 ply tire great warranty we'll keep you guys up to date um, on the tire health how it does as we travel um, across the u.s this year but super excited and peace of mind that we've got uh, this updated so that closes the chapter on the tire update uh, now on to the next things before our trip.